So we have our base selection in place, which has gone all the way around the outer edge of our subject. Next, what we want to do is just tweak this selection because, well, first of all, um, we have in here included some of the gap between the strap and the bag in there. So that portion of black in there, it's not going to cause us too many problems. It would be handy to take a look at the technique of how we would remove things like the gaps between things that we've selected in here. Bearing in mind that anything that is inside the selection will be edited and will alter. Anything on the outside will not. So I'm going to pick up my zoom tool, zoom in a bit closer to the straps at the top of this bag. I'm going to switch back to my magnetic lasso tool, but this time I want to remove this region here. So I'm going to create a freeform annotation. This is the region that I wish to remove from the selection around here, like so. And again, the best tool to do that with is the magnetic lasso. But I want to remove it, so I have to choose the option for subtract from selection, which is the third symbol in from the left hand side. Again, feather set to zero, anti alias turned on. And this time I need to make my brush size, my sample area, the width that is, let's go eight. And that should be plenty, plenty big enough. I'm going to leave out all the other options as they are. So from here now, I'm going to click, let go of the mouse and perform the same kind of mouse gesture I did before to create the original selection. So I'm just going to hover my cursor around the edge in here just to grab all of that black, which is well, as we can see through the handles in there, we don't want to include that. When I get back to the original position where I started, the cursor icon changes back to the tool icon in the tools panel, and then you can left click once. And it's now cut that region out from the selection. Doesn't affect the image at all, but now we've just told Photoshop that that needs to be not included in the selection. Hold down the space bar, pan across the round side, hover from here, everything's good to go. Click and just hover around the inside of there like so. Again, don't agonize too much about those tiny little black pixels in there that might have missed. They won't be spotted once we zoom out. So that's all good. So that's how we can remove something from a selection. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my lasso tool. So this is a completely manual gestured tool. So when I click on this, I'm going to hold down my space bar and just whiz around the edge of the selection in here. Now, yeah, okay, there's a little portion here that I could remove. Now this is perfect for the lasso tool. So again, I need to remove this portion from the selection. So I'm gonna create a selection that's gonna go like this, along and match the edge, and then come back out and create something like this. And it will remove anything that's in this region in here. So I need to change this to subtract from selection, uh, leave all the settings as they are. And then I'm going to start here. Notice there's a tiny little minus next to the mouse uh, cursor that indicates I'm going to remove this selection um, and then click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down. And you must hold down the left mouse button the whole time for the lasso tool, the regular plain old lasso tool and drag along and it will match your hand gestures. Once I've got the edge of the subject drawn accurately, because I'm going to remove this portion from the selection, you go around the outside and back to where you think the start is. Once you release the left mouse button, it ends the selection process and it's just trimmed that portion away. And you can just follow that same route around. If I just hold down the space bar, click and drag, just taking a look at these regions in here, uh, I might choose to add that portion in. So it's missing, I need to add to. So then I need to change the mode at the top up here to add to selection, the two overlapping gray boxes. This time I'm going to hover my cursor around about here, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag around the portion that's missing. But this time, because I want to add it into the selection, I'm going to go onto the inside of the current subject and then let go to add it in there. Again, just panning around here. Again, that's another example for adding. So click and hold down the mouse, drag along there like so, go on the inside and then let go and it adds it to the selection. Again, another portion around here. So you can have a go at this, just go around your selection, just tidying it up a little bit. Again, I might just add that portion back in here. I've had a lot of practice with this over the years. So I'm whizzing around this, at kind of my normal speed, which 
is a bit faster than what it was when I first started using this tool. Um, again, in here, I might want to remove this bit. So change the mode back to subtract from selection up here. And then click and drag along the subject of the bag, in this case, and then, oop, and then go around the outside and back to the beginning to trim it away. And I might just have to go back and add that portion in where I was a little bit clumsy with the mouse and add that portion in like so. So again, yeah, this one, change the motor subtract from selection, click and drag along here around the outside because I'm going to remove it from the selection and let go. And then just getting all the way back up. Yep. Again, this bit, there's too much. So subtract from selection, work along the edge of the bag and then back round and let go. And we should be probably add that bit in there. Maybe it might, that color might creep in and be visible along the inside now because we're adding it to the selection and there we go. So if I just pick up my zoom tool, hold down the alt key and zoom out a few times, that is my selected back. And in the next video, we'll look at the grayscale effect.